meal preppers get ready for the world's greatest breakfast prep in a quarantine. <laughs> camera that is the sass meister the kylie bear and i'm coming at you with two awesome breakfast ideas in a breakfast prep baby so now that the weather's getting warm the first one i'm going to show you i already made some i've been eating them all week is yogurt pops or frozen yogurt pops super simple you will only need three ingredients first thing you need two cups of frozen berries that have been thawed. I'm using this one. This is the four berry blend. It has strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. So once they're thawed, I leave them in the fridge overnight. I measure out exactly two cups. And once it's thawed, you can see it comes down a little bit in measurement. That is fine. We want the juice and everything. Pour it in into your blender. I'm gonna use a spatula to get out the rest. Now, in the same measuring cup, I'm going to measure two cups of plain fat-free Greek yogurt. So I'm making four days worth of yogurt pops, so that's two per day. Two for me is a serving because it's going to equal out to half a cup of the yogurt and half a cup of berries, which is what I eat every day. So plain fat-free Greek yogurt, two cups. Okay, once you got that measured out, right into the blender it goes. I'm eating very clean right now because I'm leaning out. So this is where I'm gonna stop and I'll show you the third ingredient after. However, if you don't care or if you want it sweetened, you can add a tablespoon of vanilla extract. This is just plain vanilla extract. You can get some anywhere. It doesn't have any sweetener or anything in it. And you could also, for sweetening, add some no sugar added or sugar-free syrup a tablespoon. I do add these from time to time, but right now I want to be very plain. So I'm going to blend these up and then I'm going to mix in two tablespoons of chopped walnuts and that'll equal out to my portion for each day of walnuts. Then we're going to make the pops. Let's go blender. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to blend it on high until it's completely combined. Ready, set, bing. Just before I'm finished, I'm gonna stop the blender and use a spatula to push any of the Greek yogurt that didn't get blended in. I'm gonna push it back into the blender. All right, that should do it. Let's finish this baby up. Okay, so it is blended up, as you can see. Now I'm gonna throw in my two tablespoons of chopped walnuts. And I'm just gonna use my spatula to stir in, stir them in. You're a human blender. That's my blender noise. Okay, now I'm gonna take my popsicle mold. I bought these at Superstore, Real Canadian Superstore in Canada. You can get these anywhere, the dollar store, online. They're pretty cheap. The, these were about $4, I think. One serving is two frozen yogurt pops, and this will last me for four days. I'm gonna freeze these overnight, and tomorrow morning, we will have lovely frozen yogurt pops, and I'll show you with the one I already have made how you pull them out. Okay, my mold is all full. I'm gonna pop the tops on now. That's it. Now they go in the freezer overnight, and then you will have something that looks like this. And how you pull these out is you can run them under hot water and they will pop right out of the mold. I will show you. Every video, lick in the floor, eh Hank? You never know when something might fall. It's okay, we don't need to film a video or anything. You're good there. Continue with what you're doing. Carry on. <laughs> Carry on, there you go. Okay, the friends, we are moving on to our next breakfast prep item. However, 
while Hank licks the floor, I want to say one more thing about the yogurt pops. What I love about those is we eat the same things every day and sometimes we need to just cook it different or make it different to change it up so that it's still fun and I still want to eat it and look forward to it. So those, it's like a whole new world. Plain yogurt, berries and nuts turned into a popsicle. So it's just a really fun way to eat it without adding anything extra. We eat eggs every single day. And sometimes I get really bored of eating plain eggs. So I'm gonna make an egg bake for you guys. And I'm gonna prep four days worth. So right now I have the oven preheated at 350 degrees and I have a frying pan preheating on medium heat sprayed with cooking spray because I'm gonna saute some veggies before I make the egg bake. So what I have here is eight small button mushrooms, about a quarter of a small cooking onion, and a quarter of a red pepper. Those button mushrooms are cute as a button. And as good as a button. If buttons were chocolate. <laughs> I'll, I'll handle the jokes here, bud. Okay? Hank, your dad is getting sassy. Roll your eyes. Like that. <laughs> Actually, no. Everyone in the comments write eye roller because you're rolling your eyes at sassy pants right now. Like, put it, eye roller, okay? <laughs> uh, once the pan is heated up, I'm going to saute these. Right now, we'll make the egg base. So we're gonna do four, four large whole eggs. Let's get cracking. Bing them in. Whoop. You crack Bing. eggs like a weirdo. You I know, crack eggs like a genioso. You're supposed to find like the edge of a bowl or the edge of a counter and crack them on the side. Italians do it like that, boy. Italians crack eggs with their teeth. Okay, four whole eggs. Now, we're about to do one cup of egg whites. But watch this. Watch what Sass Meister leaves for his wife. Okay, watch this, watch. He literally <laughs> that. He will put an almost empty carton of anything in the fridge. Sometimes it's completely empty and he puts back in. You still got a little bit out of it. I know I'm not the only one that deals with that. I'm sure there are lots of friends out there that are gonna be putting that their husbands leave them with nothing too. Yeah, but I went and got that other one for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I meaning Nicole did. So we're doing a quarter cup of egg whites per day, which is one cup of egg whites and one whole egg per day. So that's four eggs. Four See, I, eggs. I thought you only wanted a quarter cup. That's why I only left about that left. Oh, okay. Now we, now that we understand. Yeah, I was just thinking about you. That thanks for the consideration. Fine sea salt. Just enough for taste, whatever you like. Splink that in. Black pepper going in, whatever you like for taste. I'm going to use this everything bagel seasoning. My friend got this for us from the States, from Trader Joe's. You can use any seasoning that you like in eggs. This stuff tastes amazing in eggs. It takes so it up several notches. Just splink a whole bunch of that in there. Bud, do you mind? Thanks. Okay, go back. Okay, that's good. Okay, the pan is nice and hot, so I'm just gonna put all the veggies in there. A satisfying sizzle. A sizzly sizzle. And I'm just gonna saute these up slightly. I am going to add some salt and pepper to these to give them another layer of flavor. Who taught you that? Sassy pants. But that was trade for leaving nothing in the containers. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this golden action. Golden action. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay, the veggies are done. I'm gonna set those off to the side to cool for a few seconds. And I'm gonna whisk up my egg base. Whisk it good. Now you can skip the saute the veggie step 
but you won't get that layer of extra layer of flavor that you would if you did the step. Don't skip this step. You can skip it, but don't ever do it. <laughs> all right, so I just whisked it up to combine, and what? This is all stringy. You got a stage five clinger there. I did have a stage five clinger. Okay, now I'm gonna spray a, what do you call that? Like an eight by eight baking dish? Yes. And, Okay, and I'm going to pour the mixture in, and that was just regular old cooking spray. And I'm just gonna take these jolly old veggers, and I'm gonna plink them in. Okay, the friends, I'm going to pop this in the oven for about 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna check on her. Great. All right, it is out of the oven. So I checked it at 20 minutes and it needed another 15. So now it is good to go. What I'm going to do is I've turned the broiler on in the oven on high and I'm going to put some fat-free cheese slices on top and just broil it up for a couple of minutes until nice and goldener. So I'm just putting four slices, one for each day. And I'll show you the brand I use. This is Black Diamond, the cheddar slices, and they are fat free. So now I'm gonna stick this in just until it's a little bubblish. All right, she's already. Look at that. So the friends, total this took 35 minutes at 350 degrees. After it was completely cooked, I put it back in the oven with the cheese slices on top for less than a minute, like 45 seconds or so, just until it got a little bubblish. I'm going to slice it into four, and I have these containers ready to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put each slice in a container, and then I'm gonna keep a couple in the fridge, and then freeze the other two, and I'll just thaw them as I need them overnight, and then microwave them to reheat. So, let's slice this bubba right up. Hey, mushroom, you didn't cut, you bingy. Get over there. There you go. All right, now you're gonna pop he out. Everybody loves it. Wow. That looks great. They, they just pop right in, guys. See that? Yep. Everybody loves it. It's gonna be a party. It's gonna be a good time. Oh, these smell wow, so good. Wow, breakfast, guys. Breakfast in the life of champions. You're gonna just do, jump out of bed and start doing cartwheels for breakfast time with these ready for you. That's gonna be so good. And then, um, I mean, you could probably just, you could reheat it in the oven as well, but I'll ju I just microwave them and they taste pretty good. If you're thawing them out, there will be a little water. I just pat it with a paper towel and drain off the excess water. That is normal. And the best thing about the yogurt pops and these is even at the grocery stores where things are kind of sparse here and there, you can find all of these ingredients. Well, I've been able to find all of these ingredients. And our grocery stores are half empty, so. Yeah, our grocery stores are pretty sparse. There are limits on our eggs and our egg whites, but we're still able to get enough. And it's great because if I make these, I can freeze them. And if we're low on eggs, I just pull these out of the freezer. So it works. That's why it's a meal prep into quarantine for breakfast. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. You, you'll be so excited if you eat these because you're gonna love it. Okay, so make it. <laughs> and don't forget to roll your eyes, eye roller into comments, okay? And yell at Sassmeister for leaving empty cartons in the fridge, will ya? Okay, so don't forget, hit the bell for notifications. Check us out on Instagram, at the Colettes. Get on there. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You won't be sorry. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you didn't already. Do it. And <laughs> if you want Fight Through It gear or uh, one of our two weight loss guides, 
Check all the links down below. It's all there for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. We love you guys. Have a great day. Colette's out. Peace, dudes. I see your hand. Bet you can't slide as slidey as that. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.